Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to push charged objects together. We have a first charge that has a charge of 6 microcoulombs and a second charge 4 microcoulombs of charge and they're 1 meters apart and we're going to bring them closer together until they're only a half a meter apart. Now by doing so we will increase the internal energy of the system and so we have put work into the system increasing the potential energy of the two charges. Since the two charges are positively charged, they repel each other. So the force on this charge due to this charge is to the right, and we're going to push it to the left, so the displacement is to the left. And we know that the work done is always equal to the force times the displacement, and in this case that force times the displacement, that's the magnitude of these two, times the cosine of the angle between them, which in this case is 180 degrees. And the cosine of 180 is minus 1, so the work done is equal to minus the force times the displacement, or the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement. And using Coulomb's law, we know that the force between two charged objects is equal to K, times q1 times q2 divided by the distance squared. So we know that as we bring the two objects closer, the force will increase accordingly. Therefore, we're going to need to use integration. So how do we do that? We do it as follows. We're going to do it in very small little steps, and in each step we're going to do a small amount of work by moving at a very small amount of distance. So we're going to take each charge and move it from a location to a new location, a very tiny dx away. So that means that the amount of dw for that, the amount of work done, is going to be equal to the force minus the force at that particular point times a very small dx. And we're going to integrate that from x equals one meter to x equals a half a meter. So continuing that, we can say that the total work done is equal to the integral of the dw's going from x equal 1 to x equal 0.5 meters and so this is equal to the integral of minus f dx from 1 to 0.5 and then of course instead of f we write the equation there this is equal to the integral from 1 to 0.5 of minus k q1 q2 divided by, instead of r squared, we'll use x squared times dx. And then we realize that k, q1, and q2 are all constants. They can go outside the integral sign. So this becomes equal to minus k, q1, q2 times the integral from 1 to 0 0.5 of x to the minus 2 dx. And now we're ready to integrate. So when we integrate that, we get x to the minus 1, so this is equal to minus k q1 q2 times x to the minus 1 divided by the new exponent minus 1 evaluated from 1 to 0 0.5. Notice that this negative will cancel out that negative, so the work done is equal to, we get k q1 q2 and let's see here, that would be times 1 over x evaluated from 1 to 0 0.5. And now we're ready to plug in the limits and to plug in values for here. Now k in Coulomb's law is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th. So this is 9 times 10 to the 9th. We multiply times the two charges. Now microcoulombs means 10 to the minus 6. So this is 6 times 10 to the minus 6. This is 4 times 10 to the minus 6, so now we have k, q1, q2, and now when we plug in the limits, plug in the upper limit, we get 1 divided by 0 0.5, minus, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 1 over 1. And of course, 1 divided by 0 0.5 is 2, minus 1 gives us 1, so this whole thing becomes 1. And that means we only have to multiply these together. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, calculators are nice. So we have 9 times 6 times 4. 9 times 6 times 4. That's 216. We have 10 to the 9th, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the minus 6, that's 10 to the minus 12. 10 to the 9th, that's 10 to the minus 3, times 216. That would be equal to 
0.216 joules. And that's the amount of work it would take to push those two charges from a distance of one meter to a distance of one half meter, increasing the, inter the potential energy of the two charges by 0.216 joules. And that's how that's done.